Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Now, I noticed that I'm starting to get a bit messy right here, and that is a no-no, because we, we don't want to have another mess again. So, I want to build a, um, a bin real quick, and then uh, just quickly, quickly, um, we will toss some stuff in here. What, what do I need? I need to use some large floors. So, uh, let's just turn these up on their side, like that. I'm going to go one two and we're just going to do a rotate one there and then we'll do a, a rotate here we'll do one two and then we'll do a rotate no 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 that's not what i want <clears throat> come here move and then we'll do a rotate but uh, i i wanted to do a speed run of some um some ice wood tonight so we will get this done really quickly just as fast as possible. And then toss our excess or excess stuff in there. Uh, oh, for the, by, by the way, for those of you who don't know who I am, good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Um, I play Roblox and I am a Marine and I uh, used to be a correctional officer and uh, I have ADHD. Oh, and I, I wrote a book. I program things, I program. Um, I, I'm a very good programmer and I like teaching people things like uh, tutorials. Did I just fly? Was that a flying method did I, that I just did right there? I don't know. Looked like I, I flew up in the air just a little bit. I don't know. That was crazy. So there's those. Th this is all cherry wood, by the way. So I guess I'll, I'll make bins as I find wood, but the, the cherry wood was just all over the place. I'm like, we need to clean that up a little bit. And I probably should put a door or something on there, but I don't want to. Because I find doing this is much quicker. It just, it feels quicker instead of opening a door and then grabbing something out and then like, I don't know. This just seems easier to me. It might not be, who knows. Oh, and I do apologize about yesterday's video because I was just super tired and uh, unmotivated to actually go and record anything. But today, today is a different story. Oh, hit that like, comment, subscribe button. <laughs> um, if you've never played Lumber Tycoon 2 before, like if this is your first time ever seeing it, I highly recommend you go and play it. Uh, if you came here to learn about money, because um, I'm gonna make this about how to make money quickly, then stay tuned, because I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm going to show you how to make a lot of money fairly quickly. Now, actually, it's the quickest way. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, beyond exploiting, this is the quickest way to make money. I, I've tried multiple ways. I've tried doing the Goldwood run to see if uh, you could get more Goldwood than anything else. I've tried doing Bluewood run. I've tried doing uh, Palmwood run. This just gets you more. Um, the ice wood is the most expensive so far. And uh, just so you know, Defaultio has been updating it. He's been doing a lot of changes. I haven't seen any change logs yet. So we don't wait, I'm like, I don't know. He's doing something. Um, and it could possibly be that it's part of the Easter egg hunt uh, 2021. Maybe. Oh, we're going to put that in there. And was that another little piece right there? That's a little piece, little one. <clears throat> but. Um, so far it's just hearsay. Uh, do, we don't know. We don't know for a fact. I don't know for a fact. Uh, it, but it could be. Who knows? Uh, we're gonna take two, just in case. Mm, I think I said that last time. Like, leave a box on the outside of the opposite side. But, if you happen to have yourself a Valhalla truck like this, you got yourself a fairly good axe. I've got the Rookie. Come on, shut the door. Shut the door. There you go. Uh, then just head on over to the Fallen Rocks. Um, in comparison to the base wood are us and huge shout out to the guy that's building the, the lumberland inside uh, Minecraft dude that is that's pretty sweet I'm not gonna lie uh, oh and follow me on Twitter for updates and talkie talk because that's that's where I do most of my communication at um, I do have TikTok if you want to follow me on TikTok too Tik TikTok too <sighs> down in TikTok too in, in where? Run! Run away! Explosions! Boom! 
Yay! Okay, so right here we can jump out. Drop this down just right there. Like that. Now let's go make some money. We're gonna make some mad cash. Make a mad dash for the mad cash. Like a cash cow. Is it, is it cash cow? Yeah. Oh, money pit. Money pit. Uh, like... You, <laughs> that was actually from my stepsister. Um, she was showing us... Uh, oh, okay. So, um, my wife's sister, my stepsister, uh, she was showing uh, houses that we were looking at and stuff like that. So, um, she kept referring to... Uh, you don't want to buy a house that you got to put a lot of money into and you got to keep keep doing maintenance on. That's a that's a cash cow. I'm like, it's not a cash cow. That's that's a money pit. A cash cow is something we we want a cash cow because a cash cow like starts producing money and keeps producing money. So <laughs> I found it funny. Anyhow, by the way. Spring break is over. You guys should be back in school by now. And what? You've only got a month and a half left of school? Or, or two months? So summertime's coming. Summertime and the weather's easy. Is that sublime? Early in the morning. Rising to the street. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, no! No, I've fallen and I can't get up. <coughs> For those of you that were raised in the 90s. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Turn and turn. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I found this amazing website called my90stv.com. Oh, no, 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 no. They've also got my80stv.com and like something else but there's uh, my90stv.com you can go from 1990 to 1999 and watch television as it was back in the day oh that was horrible anyhow they had this this specials on and it had uh, like CompuServe and stuff like that and these guys were talking about software to increase your one megabyte of memory because that's all the RAM that you ever had one meg you didn't even have a gigabyte of RAM oh my gosh I remember when 256 was awesome. Oh, out of the 56K modem. They were talking about uh, the first uh, cable modems. Stuff like that. I don't know. Very excitable. It, it was nice to just turn that on and pretend like it was 1990s again. Oh, it was crazy. Anyhow. <clears throat> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, 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 come on. What is going on, Code? Why can't you get this? Should I pause it until I get this right? I mean, normally I would like just talk you guys through everyday life problems. That's what's not happening. Okay, let's talk about something. Uh, let's talk uh, about stealing. No, no, stealing's too easy. Yeah, you know what? We'll talk about stealing. Um, I posted um, a few weeks back that I was apologizing to Babbage's, uh, now called GameStop. Uh oh. That's not gonna work. Okay, so maybe, maybe it's not me talking about uh, stuff. Anyhow, um, back when I was a teenager, and this is, a, this is a stupid move that I did, I was inside Babbage's. And if you guys don't know what Babbage's is, it's a. It's kind of like a music store, movie store, entertainment store, and they had a books section with Dungeons and Dragons things, right? Like you could you could buy the Monsters Manual, or you could oh no, pick up modules and stuff like that. Oh come on, ah, oh, so close. And I was with one one of my buddies. And he came up behind me and put two things of dice, two two tubes of dice in my back pocket. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, we need dice. I was like, okay, let's just buy them. He's like, no, dude, 
you don't want to buy from these corporate and he, he told me like those corporate overlords or something like that I'm like yeah it's true down with the man I don't, I don't know anyhow I ended up walking out of the store with uh, two dice two things of dice in my pocket I had never heard dice jingle and jingle so loud like they did that day horrible code horrible you stole so I apologize to Babbage's and to GameStop uh, Babbage's actually went out of business like back in 1996 98 something like that and that's when GameStop bought them but I, it was still wrong and I've I have never stolen ever again that was a horrible feeling so if you're if you're stealing things if you're trying to sneak things around don't it's such a horrible feeling. Now, on the opposite side of that spectrum, I am going to tell you about a story of uh, whenever I was at Walmart. I was actually in a bit of a rush to go and um, purchase something and bring it back home to my wife. Um, it, it was just like a, a groceries run or something, right? But I ended up um, walking out of the store and... What am I doing? I need to throw this down. I found a wallet in the parking lot. So I picked it up and I looked inside real quick and there was about $350 in cash. And there was um, there was no ID, but there was a, like an EBT card and something else. And what I did is I went ahead and grabbed, grabbed the wallet, grabbed everything, and I walked it inside and uh, turned it into the, the customer service, the cashier that was there. I, look, I gave them my name and everything and they said if nobody claims it in 30 days come back and, and it's it's yours. I'm like okay. So I came back and tried to find it after about 30 days and they're like we never had a wallet turned in. I'm like ah yes you did. And I showed them the picture of the person who took the wallet from me and their their name and the date and everything that was inside the wallet. I turned it in and they said, thank you for the information. <laughs> Put it this way. I know what I did was right. I turned in the wallet and I did what I was supposed to. Now, in preparation, in knowing human nature, I took a picture of the person that took it uh, and I documented basically what had happened just in case. So... If the person came back in and found the wallet, like they came back in asking for their wallet, they got their wallet back, they got their money back, good. Good things happen. If not, if the person I gave it to stole the wallet after I had found and turned it in, then I was covered in, in the clear and consciously felt better knowing that I wasn't the one that stole it. You know, <sighs> which, by the way, if you happen to find money on on the street or something like that, you are not obligated to actually go and turn it into anyone. That that's just a that's a self conscious thing. I mean, how how would you feel if you had three hundred and fifty dollars? That was your rent money, or that was your your food money for the the month. You know, and that's that's all you had to live on. And you just lost it. And then... You, it, that would be horrible. That's a scary thought. So, that's a little tree. I don't know why I cut that one down. I'm sorry. I probably should have waited a little bit until coming up here. Because that, that was not very many trees. <laughs> would it have been easier to like throw it all down there? And... I guess not. I guess jumping down the, the ramp's more fun anyway. So I like I like jumping down the ramp. It's fun. Plus uh the ice wood is so cool when it goes flying down. Let's go grab this tree over here. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna call that it for this run. Uh by the way, uh if you have just joined us, then we are trying to get money as fast as possible within our normal thirty minute constraint. Which, right now, seems to be going slowly. 
We're already 15 minutes in. Let go! Whee! Oh, that was a good jump. Not bad, not bad. Now we need to get out of the car and see if we... Turn, 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 turn. Okay, so we didn't lose any up there. Normally, there if we lost one, it would have been stuck up there somewhere. So. Turn this over. We're going to lay it down in the bed of the truck like this. By the way, if you guys are like, oh my gosh, Code, how did you turn that so fast? It's just lots of practice using the shift key and the, the different controls of lumber. Which, by the way, they are very intuitive. I really like how Defaulty like set all of it up. In fact, I think he may have gotten it from uh, his incubator program, or, or is it incubator? Yeah, I think it's incubator program. Uh, it, it, for those of you who are interested in learning to develop and code and program all things Roblox, I recommend putting in and trying to get into their incubator program. I keep calling it incubator. I don't know if that's the correct term for it. Okay, Google. What is Roblox incubator? According to Dev Forum, Roblox. The Roblox Incubator is a five-month professional development program where you will work with Roblox producers to develop and release an original game. There it is. That's what it is. So, if you're interested in, like, getting deep into the Roblox programming development world, I highly recommend going and trying to sign up for it. It is for a younger audience, so... Sorry, old folks. <laughs> Yeah, that means you, Code. You can't get into it. That's okay. I'm not I'm not looking to become a professional Roblox programmer. But, uh, you know, it'd still be fun to create a program or to create a, a game. Which I'm still tempted to go and do. Who knows? I'm young. I'm young! I'm, I'm not as young as most of my audience, but I'm still young! Leave me alone! Give me my Metamucil. What, what is Metamucil? Hey Google, what's Metamucil? Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Psyllium, or Ispagula, is the common name used for several members of the plant genus Plantago, whose seeds are used commercially for the production of mucilage. That, that, that was not helpful at all, thank you. I don't need to know how it was produced, I wanted to know what it's for. Okay, Google. What's Metamucil used for? According to WebMD, this medication is used to treat constipation. <laughs> it increases the bulk in your stool, an effect that helps to cause movement of the intestines. <laughs> it also works by increasing the amount of water in the Shh! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was for constipation. It's a poop joke. <laughs> Where's my mini mucil? I'm all stopped up. Help! <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna get comments. People are gonna be like, Code, you said a dirty joke. It's about poop. <laughs> oh well. It's good times. Good times. Poop jokes have never hurt nobody. <laughs> oh gosh. Have you ever had an embarrassing moment of the poops? Of like the diarrheas. I know this is like a little embarrassing to talk about, but it is funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when like <laughs> when you go to fart, <laughs> it's not a fart. It's a <laughs> that's oh, it happens. But it's so embarrassing, and it's so you, you get so self conscious, like oh, <laughs> and you're worried about it. It's happened to me. It's happened to me before. It happens to everyone. You know. It is a thing that happens to, to most humans, and it's okay. Oh, man. Madam Usual. Did not know it was for the poopers. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm gonna be laughing about that all day tomorrow. In fact, I, I'm gonna message my boss, be like, hey, do you know what Madam is used for? I, I bet most people probably know what it's used for. 
Why didn't I know? Maybe I did at one time, and I just forgot it since then. That's funny. <laughs> what were we talking about? Incubator program. Yes. Something about the incubator program. What I, what I really love is this one, like, way over here on the side. Like, it's not even... It's not even hang it's not even in the truck. It's hanging on to another tree that's in the truck. <laughs> no, no, I just talked good about you. Don't fall. Oh gosh. Okay. I feel like it's it's gonna fall out. It's gonna nope, it's lifting the truck. Why are you lifting the truck? That's What are you doing here, sir? Can can you not? Uh one, three, five, seven, nine, cause I can't even. That's a math joke, by the way. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? Come on, dude. You are a problem. Move it. Move. Move. Thank you. Your stop is here. You are here. There we go. All right, and let's, uh, let's lift this one right here. By the way, this is, this is still the quickest way to make money. The fastest way to make money inside Roblox. Or, sorry, not Roblox. <laughs> inside Lumber. Lumber, Lumber, Lumber. Well, I guess you could, like, if you made a lot of money on here, you can't sell this in-game currency for, like, actual Robux, could you? That's illegal. Can't do that. <clears throat> you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go see how many we can get back on the base. You know? Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What, what are we stuck on now? Seriously? Seriously? Come on. Move it. Move it. Party's over. Get out of here. Whack. <laughs> oh, I have mingled a web. There we go. Get that one up there. Come off. Come off to the side. Come on. Come on. Break it up, guys. Break it up. Alright. Let's just take these back. Yay. And I'm taking my time just to moving along. You'll forget about me when I'm dead and gone. And I'm taking my time. What what song is that? I don't know. Okay, Google. What's the song that goes, and I'm moving along, just taking my time. You'll forget about me when I'm dead and gone. I'm sorry, not sure what you were talking to, about. Okay, Google. Search for, and I'm taking my time just to moving along. You'll forget about me when I'm dead and gone. Hmm. Okay, okay, that's not working at all. So now my curiosity has peaked, and you'll forget about me. After I've been gone, lyrics. It's by Boston. I'm just moving on. You'll forget about me after I've been gone. Oh, it's not dead. There's no dead in there at all. Hmm. Okay, never mind. There's no dead to that song. Is it the Rolling Stone? Who's that? No, it's not the Rolling Stones. It's Boston. Silly. <clears throat> so there's this uh, there's funniness to ADHD where um, some things will um, get mixed up inside your head. So the memory of them becomes factual of whatever the thing is that's messed up. For example, I, I could have sworn those were the lyrics. It's not the lyrics. Um, there was another song. Oh, um, nope, I can't mention that one. <laughs> Not a family friendly song. There's a lot of songs nowadays on the radio that are not family friendly. And I just, I want to say, I'm sorry to this generation. <laughs> and I look back at some of the songs I was singing when I was a kid. 
And most of them were like from my mom and from the 60s, 70s. No, it, it'd been the 70s. And it just, it never occurred to me how much influence radio has, you know? And what was considered controversial back then is now very mild in comparison to today's standards of offensive. You know, that's, I would like to apologize for that. Because there are some songs that I'm like, Hope, change the channel. Jeez, what is And she, she's just like, why? It's a good song. It's got a good beat. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. It does. But I mean, thinking back to uh, whenever I was growing up, I liked the Beach Boys, you know? I'm getting picking up good vibrations. She's giving me excitations. Something like that. Good, 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 good vibrations. Well, that, I didn't realize that the, a lot of their songs were very male chauvinistic ideas, you know? Surfer Girl. And uh, there, there, I guess there was one. Uh, back to the cutest girls in the world. I wish they all could be <laughs> California girls. The, the Beach Boys, you know, <laughs> I'm like, wow. <clears throat> yep. They're not PC. <laughs> Nowadays, they would not be considered PC at all. Um, but, you know, in the 80s and 90s, they, they were very much a big band. In fact, I think if I can remember back correctly, I think my mom and dad took me to a Beach Boys concert. And that was that was a long time ago. Dad, if you're listening, did I did I go to the Beach Boys concert with you guys? Did you did you take me? I think I think so. Maybe. I was young. Anyhow. Every once in a while I'll hear the, the Beach Boys songs come on the radio and turn on the radio and just listen to some oldies. And I just realized, like, I was listening to uh, a radio station today while I was driving around um, picking up my shirts for my work and stuff. And I realized that the songs they were playing were the songs that I grew up to, you know? Like in my teenage years. They had Britney Spears and they had, I think Spice Girls were playing. And that's when I realized it was on the oldies channel. <laughs> no! My music is from the 90s. It's not old. And then I thought, you know what? The 90s was over 30 years ago. Really? Yeah, code. The 90s was 30 years ago. Y2K was 21 years ago. If your birth date starts with a 19, you don't have to show your ID. Well, yeah, you still have to show your ID. But... If your ID starts at the 19, you are an adult who can purchase alcohol at the store. Because it's 2021. <laughs> uh, well, I guess if you were born in December of 1999... No, you'd still be... You'd have to be born in 2000. That's nuts. That is crazy. I know a lot of adults will say like, "Oh, time flies," and they'll. A, a lot of people will, will warn you. I'm gonna tell you, it's true. It is 100% true. I did not realize how fast time goes. Um, that entire week that we just spent redoing the house, it felt like it was taking forever. And now that it's done, I'm looking back and going, "Man, that was just. That was just last week." You know, it, it felt like forever ago. Time flies. What are these pieces? Are they just not, not full enough pieces? Um, okay, so one thing I want to do before we do this. Do, 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 make sure there's no... All right. Come here, tile. 
Uh, no, 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 no. Too small tile. And then tiny tile. Uh-oh. That was, wasn't right. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. That looks awesome. Kind kind of feels like a waste with all the the little things, you know? But this is that's as big as it gets, right? That's the best way to fit it. I hope that was the best way to fit it. You know, if this were moved over one, you know what? Let's just go ahead and move this over one. Um rotate turn rotate. I'll just do that, and then we'll, we'll slap a post. <gasps> I don't have to slap a post. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That's going to be perfect. All right, let's move you. You're going to go with the rotate, and you're going to go right there. You move, and you're going to go right there. You move, and you're going to go right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, so now that means I should be able to... Oh gosh, what happened? Out, B. Wasn't I showing you guys how to make money? That's that's the whole point of what I was doing, isn't it? Thin cabinet, thin cabinet, thin cabinet. Come on, come on, fit, fit, please. Go to your home. Nice, GGs. And then we need a thin countertop right there on top. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, turn, turn. It's not gonna, it's, oh, yeah, nice. Then that means. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Okay. Go back to the floors. Go back to the tile, regular tile. And we're going to do turn rotate, just like that. Now, boom. There we go. And we'll we'll come back and oh, actually we won't, won't won't need to come back. Got that. Got that. Beautifully done. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We just got some major awesome. Doors go in there. Oh, no, don't want to destroy. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. Back to processing. How much time we got? Oh, we're at 33 minutes. All right, hold on. I'm going to process all these trees, go sell them off, and I'll be right back. Well, I just got it all cut and processed, so now we need to go sell it. And there she goes. Well, the start of it. Oh no, 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 oh no, oh goodness. What do we start with, like 1,900 something, I think, maybe? Oh gosh, come on. E. Oh. Oh, maybe, maybe that was, was that a good thing or that was a bad thing? That's a bad thing. Okay. Back it up, there we go. <clears throat> Open it up. There you go, come on. Let's go. Everybody out. I'll truck. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, this is going this is going to take forever. Oh wait, 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 wait. Wasn't there a thing that we did? Yeah. We're gonna like jump and throw. Oh there we go. <laughs> Skills. Ooh, that took another piece with it. Do you see that? Just gotta grab, jump, and throw underneath. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> 25,000. Yeah. 25,000 for a couple of uh, ice trees. Not a bad run. Not a bad run at all. In fact, oh wait, we've lost a couple pieces over here. 
Let's go see what our next landmass will cost. Because <clears throat> that is... Ooh, that's money in the bank. Don't lose it. There we go. Every piece counts. 26000 Let's go see how much it costs. Let's go. And I had an idea. Sitting there chopping all that wood and stuff, there's got to be a way to create an ice slope that you could take a tr that tree, just toss it onto, right? And there'd be saw blades set up in a specific manner. So if it got stuck, it would chop it up. And then as it went down to the next thing, it would get stuck and chop it up. Everything would become like this vertical pattern, have a conveyor belt that pushes it this direction. So everything drops down and turns. So it's in alignment like this way, right? And then have it chop again as it's going down the, the conveyor belt. And then that way, if it gets stuck in front of one of those sawmills, you could have some sawmills going this direction. So anything that got turned sideways would get sawed in two and break off and go into the... Anyhow, I'll have to come up with an idea for that. I think I think it would be a good idea. So you want some land, eh? Yes, I do. You already have some land. Yes, I want to expand. 30,000. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I only have 26,000. So we're going to have to do a couple more runs on that. Quit. Why don't you want to buy my land? Some, I, I didn't read the rest of it. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you everyone for joining me this um, Friday night karaoke. No. <laughs> Thank you everyone for uh, watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. If you had a bad day, I hope it gets better. If you had a good day, I hope it only gets better from here. Love you guys very much. Have a great day or night or whatever the case may be. And we'll talk to you very soon. And enjoy that fruit by the foot. Love you guys. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.